Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to import the Paphos demo. On this domain I have installed the theme and the theme included plugins, and now I will need to activate my theme. Here I will need to add my license code and press check license. Now my theme is activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to install the SVG support plugin before importing the demo. I will show. You will need to go to plugins, click add new, look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. Click install now, activate the plugin. And now we can proceed with the demo import. I will go to VP Rentals Options Import Demo. Here you will find all team available demos. You need to import only one demo. And if you change your mind and you will want a different demo imported, we recommend to clear database and after import the new demo. This is the demo that I will import. So I will click Import Demo, Continue and Import and I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo import is complete. Next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First I will show what needs to be done from admin. First you will need to set permalinks correctly. For that you will need to go to settings, permalinks and you need to set permalink structure to postname. I will save the changes. Next you will need to review team options. I will go to VP Rentals Options General. Here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own. I will show a quick overview but you will need to check each section and add your settings in general section. You can change country, language for date picker and other settings. You can upload your own logo. You can make settings for bookings and make other settings in social and contact. You need to replace the demo contact details with your own and add details on your social accounts. In map you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps but if Google Maps will need to be selected then you will need to create an ad in the site a Google Maps API key. Next in listing page you can manage settings for your listings pages. You can select here the listing page design type and make other settings. Also you have a listing page layout manager and you will have other settings available. In design you can manage design settings for listing card, info box on the map, you can change colors, you can change colors for menu and make other settings. In email management you can set the text of the notifications that will be sent from your site and also you can make other settings. In advanced you can set recaptcha for the register form and set Yelp. Also in payments and submit you can make settings for the submission form. You can choose the submission type. You can choose it to be free per listing or with membership packages. Here you can set the booking payment options. You can set a deposit fee and a service fee. And in this section you can also set the payments. You can use PayPal or Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce and use any payment add-on from the WooCommerce plugin. Next you'll have the search section. Here you can manage settings for the advanced search. You can set the search type and make other settings. And lastly you have the SMS management section. Here you can enable the SMS service that will work with Tulio. This was just a quick overview. Now I will go on front end. I will click visit site. The demo content was imported but you will have two sections. This one and this one that will require manual adjustments for them to show as in our official demo. In these two sections we used property categories and since on import each category ID is different, you will need to reselect the categories and manually upload images for each category used in these two sections. First I will show how these sections were added in the home page. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click edit with Elementor button. I will scroll down to the first section. This is the one. Here we used VP Rentals featured category widget. We added the same widget several times 
to create this design. You can see that some of the demo categories are saved. You can change it, you can change them from here. And next, I will need to manually upload an image for the section to show correctly. I will show the second section as well. Here we use the VP Rentals categories list widget. You can see that only one category from the demo was saved. I will add five more. I will save the changes made and now I will need to add images for each category selected in both sections. You will find the property categories in admin. You will need to go to listings. The property categories are category, what do you rent, city, neighborhood area, features and amenities and property status. I will start with categories. To upload an image to a category, you will need to edit the category. Press the upload image button. You can select an image from media or you can upload one from your device. I will upload one from my device. I will select the image, press insert into post and update. Going on home page, now on refresh, the image that I just uploaded will show here. The steps are exactly the same regardless of the category. I will show another example, this time from city. So I will edit the category. I will click upload image. I will select an image from my device. I will press insert into post and save changes. Now on the home page, on refresh, you will see the second image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images and now the sections show as in our official demo. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next I will show a few guidelines on how to edit the elements in home page. So I will go back to the Elementor editor. I will enable Navigator to have better access to each page section. I will start with the first one. Here we added a search form. We created it with the search form builder. You will have the option to change the existing fields. You can remove the ones from demo and add your own. In the next section, we created a section that will display properties. For that, we used the VP Rentals recent listings with filters. Here you can change the filters, you can delete and add new ones. In content you can make setting for the number of items, number of items per row, if the units will be displayed as grid or not. And also you can hide or show elements in the listing units. You can hide owner, favorites and other details. Going further to the next section, here we added this text with the heading widget from Elementor, you will be able to edit the text here. Going further, you will have the section with property categories that I just explained. You can change the category for each section and also you can change the type of the widget. Going further, here we created a section with text. You can edit it from the heading widget from Elementor. Next, we created boxes with icons and text. We used icon box for icons and you can delete the demo icon and replace it with your own. Also, you can change the text here. This needs to be done for each section that we create. Next, we created another section with listing categories. I have described how this widget was added. You can change the text here and change the categories that you want to display in front of. And for the last section in the page, we created a section to display blog posts. For that, we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. We set it to display articles. You will have the option to change the number of elements and the number of elements per row. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.